omnibus Really stender, no pretender Dance on the grub, weekender Them boy there, they must have forgotten But they're way too young to suffer from demons yeah. Selective memory I may open the boy's head top Go inside and select that memory Oh, now you remember when we <sighs> Empty Nice fire in the booth with the nine by my side Like Northside Benji Violate Jan in this corn by February Oh my bro, innit? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Probation, bro. Probation, bro. Probation was even trying to arrest me, bro. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm trying to say? They were, um, they were trying to arrest me um, um, for sending the nicest letter. They told me a GPS. Even when I was in court, they tried to say I'm a, I'm a big risk. No, I yeah. never miss. I've never missed one appointment with probation or stuff. None of that kind of stuff. There. Honestly, the main thing is the law, isn't it? Yeah. Twenty-three years old. I haven't had an easy life. I haven't had the privilege, privilege that a lot of twenty-three years have had. You know what I mean? Like having a car, able to work, able to go uni, able to study. I thought I was let down by the system. The time where I've been filming with Hakeem, he's been arrested twice. My name is Hakeem Ajiboy, go by the name of King Hakeem Ajiboy, aka the Black Traveller. This is my story, long way back home, Black Traveller. Boxing's always been part of my life, fighting. My dad was also a boxer, my dad was a world no fighter in Nigeria, where I come from and everything, and the city that I was from. Always run inside my fame, always run inside my blood. Boxing is the way. Boxing get you out of trouble, give you better future in life. You know what I'm saying? It's the way to let your anger out. Now tell me who on the uh with us? Ashes to ashes, dust to dust. Bang, and let your brains hang, snitches. All the people punks with riches and carry up in they hosiery. A black teller when my father bust and then loaded me. Think he just for the key and dip in the D's. Don't hate me. Hey, look, he bonds for hitting my mom's letting the pop. Uh, I was born in the drop, ball in the pop. It's hot, it's in Okay, you lock that elbow at 90 degrees and you punch with the shoulder. Okay, and it's locking the punch. Then when I lock my punch and my elbow is locking that way, okay, that punch, that's a go back. The only thing I do is twist my hips. And then I've got knowledge coach as well, he knows what he's doing and stuff, you know what I mean? And this is what, this is what it takes to be a champ, man, in hard work. To be honest with you, since we started day one with Hakim, his intelligence and his IQ is at another level. He's learning fast, he's a guy who understands very quick, and to be honest, I'm enjoying it. We just need two rounds and we click it. Be ready, whoever is there. Let's go. He's coming. Let's go. Was that, was, did I say any threatening words? No. 
was that? What was that trying to do? I was trying to get the food. Then. I was trying yeah, to get the food. You wanted to get food. That's why. Though. Tell me, you was there. Tell me what happened in the food. No, because when you asked for the second portion, like he was, you were shouting. But I, I don't know. You don't like. You don't insult him. You don't do another word, like bad word for him. Bro. Only that I None of that. None of that. And this is what I'm saying. This is what. This is what I'm telling you about this people. The time where I've been filming with Hakim, he's been arrested twice, and these are for things where he, he doesn't need to be arrested for minor things where he had to control his temper or he had to do the right thing, follow what the instructions were, were given to him. He needs to get a job. He needs to get an NI number to get a job. And he told me that the home office hasn't given him his NI number and that's where he's stuck where he is. I'm like in a hole. Mm. I'm in a dark hole, bro. You know what I mean? I mean, I'm like that little boy that's screaming. I'm no man's weird, man. I didn't grow up with that. I didn't grow up with no dad. God rest his soul. Lost my dad when I was two. Also, my mum left me at the age of three, came to um, England with my auntie at the age of three or four to live with my auntie. I originally a hackney boy and I moved to the Rumford, started my life and started my school years in Rumford. Unfortunately, me and my auntie didn't really have a good relationship, went into the care system at the age of seven. The care system wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't easy being in the care system. Um, I grew up in a white area as well, Colin Road. There was a lot of races, a lot of bully going on back when I was you know, in school days and care home. Even from this day, I still deal with trauma. I still go through the trauma, I still go through the pain. I still sometimes sleep and I, I have nightmares, you know what I mean, about the past. Right now, obviously, I'm staying in a hostel. The environment is not really good for me. The environment is full of drugs, drug users. The only reason why I'm in walls is because my son is here. Princess Saira, man, I boy, yeah. Fortunately, me and my, the mother and my child, we didn't really we didn't really work out. I made mistakes and if I can go back, I would have changed it. But we move forward, you know what I'm saying? Everything happened for a reason. Things are getting better now. I've got good um, immigration solicitor that's on board and she's getting things done. And we are getting the support that we need now. Now just about training, um, staying hungry, staying humble, staying consistent. Also discipline, you know what I mean? And also surrounding myself with the right people, hungry people that's on the same mission as I am as well. Everything I do is for my son and for my family. Shout out to David, man. You know what? The first time I met the guy, man, straight away, man, you know what I'm just saying? Like, say, yo, Hakeem, like, boom, 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 let's work, you know what I mean? Show me nothing but love and time. I appreciate that. Sambu as well, you know what I mean? Didn't ask me for no money, you know, so after training for stuff that, training me for free, and they see potential in me, you know what I mean? They see something in me. A lot of people have left me, a lot of people have been scared because the trouble that it comes with being a part of my life, the trouble that's come with being a part of my life, a lot of people have run away. But Sam, Sambu, David, people like that has been there, you know and I mean, I stick by my side and, and, and I'm grateful for them. And that's the honest truth. And also, my coach Mark as well, from eating Yaks as well. Oh, Yaks! Shout out to Yaks the Barber, man. One of the best in the world, one of the best in the whole wide world for also supporting me when I have money, you know what I mean, for giving me free haircuts and stuff like that, free trims and stuff like that. Like, yo, that's love there, that's big love there, and you know what I mean? People like that, I'll never forget. Like I say, from the bottom to the top, and that's what we're gonna go from. From the mud, you know what I'm trying to say, to the dime. And that's it, man. I need your love, need your ways, need your spirit. Make me change, I don't wait that I'm living. Lord knows I wanna change for the better.